reflective belts are pointless especially when you've got a helmet on for safety welcome back to random and today i'm at union station here in ogden utah uh, we're going to be talking about the gas laws and how they apply and some of the applications that uh, they're involved in and we're going to be using this steam locomotive uh, to illustrate some of that so uh let me just grab my editor's notes here so i can pretend to know what i'm talking about and he will be less irritated at me for ignoring his notes hopefully he doesn't leave any snide comments in the video down below uh claiming to be helping with viewer retention because what he's asking me to film is just so god-awful boring all right so the gas laws we're going to start with Boyle's law uh, that is pressure and volume. The gas pressure and volume are inversely proportional. Okay, so when temperature is constant and volume increases, pressure decreases. Uh, one example of that when it comes to this uh, steam locomotive here is actually the drive cylinders here. Okay, so as steam comes down and pushes on one side of the cylinder or the other, the volume will increase and the pressure inside the cylinder will decrease as as the piston moves one direction or another now of course the supply steam is at a constant pressure all right so the valves uh, will actuate forwards and backwards and that's how steam will get uh, introduced to one side of the piston or the other thereby in uh, creating linear motion to turn the wheels now another example or another way that Boyle's law applies to this steam engine is actually the boiler. Now, I can already probably hear you in the comment section, oh, well, the boiler is the really hot part. How is it part of Boyle's law? I'll get to that. So the boiler, as you can see, is a confined space, okay? So volume inside of that boiler is finite, okay? And uh, as you increase the temperature with the fire, you boil more water that produces more pressure okay that's how steam engines work uh let's see and of course that's uh the volume uh being the constant instead of the temperature or the pressure being constant that's an example of how boil uh, those are two examples of how Boyle's law uh are used in steam engines like this uh, so Charles's law, it's one of the next major gas laws. Uh, volume of gas is at a constant pressure is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Uh, where that comes in handy, at least in this application, would be the thermometer. Okay, so that's how we monitor uh, how efficient the steam engine can get. The hotter it gets, the faster the water boils in the boiler, the more steam you can generate in a faster amount of time. And of course, the thermometer being one of the main instruments here in the cab. Unfortunately, the, uh, the museum here at uh, Union Station doesn't allow people to climb up and actually look inside the locomotives. Uh, that's a safety hazard. They, they really don't like us doing that. Even if you're wearing a steel helmet like mine, uh, they won't let you do it. So, All right, so Pascal's Law. Pascal's Law means... Uh, when pressure is applied to an enclosed fluid, pressure uh, will be transmitted without change in magnitude to all points in that container. Now, how that applies to the steam engine uh, is actually with the brakes. So, a lot of steam engines and modern locomotives will use air brake systems. Uh, a small movement of a lever uh, creates a uh, small movement on uh, pressure and that translates to a greater magnitude and a greater uh, application of force on the brake pads uh, pascal's law also applies to hydraulics so when you're you're moving a small amount of fluid in a very confined area you can move a large a larger cylinder carrying a larger load that's uh that's how uh, car brakes work. It's how hydraulic cylinders work. And it's another example of how the steam cylinders work on this locomotive for the drives. So, uh, pretty simple, pretty rudimentary, 
Uh, but when it all works together, uh, all three gas laws working together in a single application, you get this magnificent engineering. Lots of steam, lots of pressure, lots of heat, all working together to drive cylinders, to turn wheels, to pull massive loads over long distances. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, pretty, pretty rudimentary, pretty simple process in uh, theory. Uh, the difference is uh, what we're demonstrating here, at least in this video, is some of the applications for these laws. Now, steam engines aren't the only place that these laws actually apply. There's a, a few different, well, there's actually many different uh, examples. Unfortunately, this is the most direct one, and honestly, it's the most simple that I can break down in terms that my editor can understand. He's, he's a product of public education. That should tell you all you need to know. Uh, so, uh, if you like this episode, please leave a comment down below, uh, subscribe, tell me and my editor what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, and how my editor can improve his, uh, his standing and how we can make the channel better. Um, liking, commenting, and subscribing uh, helps with the algorithm, helps the channel grow, uh, so please do that. And uh, as always, keep it random.